um, as you as you probably know, a few weeks ago, uh, Paul Samuelson, the, the famous economist who started the department at MIT and got the Nobel Prize and really was one of the most hugely influential economists uh, in the world, uh, passed passed away. Um, about ten about ten years ago, I, I wanted to do an experiment on how people bid in auctions on. Um, goods that don't have a specific value, right? So if, if you go and bid on a DVD, you know what the DVD costs in the store, you can compare it. But what about items we don't know how they're valued, where the auction process also helps you to figure out what other people value it? So houses are example like this. How much is a house worth? Well, what other people are evaluating? Kind of like the stock market, in a sense. Um, so, so I was hoping to get celebrities to uh, give me multiple copies of some stuff that they would sign or endorse or something, and I would uh, sell it on eBay under different conditions and see what happens. Um, no celebrity. It was a lot of work, and nobody was willing to give me four copies or anything. Uh, so I went to Paul Samuelson, who was in the building next to me, <clears throat> and um, I got some of his uh, you know, famous 1948 uh, textbook, and I asked him to, uh, to sign them, and, and, and he did. He actually signed four copies because I, I had four conditions in mind. Um, I also got other people who won the, the Nobel Prize in different um, disciplines sign, sign copies, uh, including um, Herb Simon uh, from Carnegie Mellon. Uh, sadly, about uh, two weeks after I finished getting all the signatures, and I was just getting um, ready to do the experiment, uh, Herb Simon passed away, and I, I didn't feel uh, right to do the experiment just after he, he passed away, so I put it on the shelf, and I, I totally uh, forgot about it. I had a box of, of books, and uh, I was just reminded again about, about this uh, experiment now that, that Samuelson have, have passed away. Um, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll go back to it, uh, but I do want to tell you one thing, is that when, uh, when Paul signed uh, this book, he made me promise that I'll never tell him how much the book with his signature uh, was worth compared to the book without his, his signature. He was really a, a, a delightful and uh, exciting, exciting guy and uh, very generous and um, just, uh, just a shame.